Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless each and every one of you. Uh, I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus. I'd like you to uh, follow me as we look at this uh, incident here. Again, it is Apostle Richard Takim. And I found out that sometimes someone can be a lone voice crying out against you know the practices that are not so right and sometimes it may seem so such a lonely work but i understand that even john the baptist in spite of um you know his ruggedness and uh, his commitment to the truth yet those who actually desired the truth went after him even while he was in the forest and jesus was like whom did you go inside the forest to look like? Did you go there to see a king or someone that was dressed in you know, kingly apparel? Someone that was well fed said no. Those that are well fed, those that are king, those that wear kingly apparel, they are found in the palace. Yet you went into the forest to look for a prophet, yet much more than a prophet. Now, I'm not telling you this, but I'm, you know, for me to appear as if I'm endorsing Apostle Takim. But I, I have listened to the young man, and to be sincere with you, his boldness is one thing. People may not, uh, you know, have, people may not like how bold he is. People may not like his outspokenness. But with the rottenness in the church, with what is happening today, you see, if people will keep quiet, if people like this will keep quiet, if everyone should keep quiet, then the whole world would have been, you know, um, overrun by the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah. You would have seen the Herods and Herodias taking over the place. And so I'd like you to look at this and understand when we talk about manipulation, people twisting the scriptures. Sometimes I look at the preachers themselves. I want to almost believe that they are ignorant of what they are saying but on a second thought i'll be like isn't it that they really want to manipulate their listeners prophets who practice shadows are prophets without the testimony of jesus they are the prophets of bear please don't sit on that yes 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 only the spiritually insane treats Fake preachers are servants of God. In the name of the Father, Son, 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 They are not spokesmen and women of God. They are spokesmen and women of other gods. Yes. In the name of the Father. Yes. In the name of the Son. Yes. In the name of the Holy Yes. Yes. Sir. Prophet, prophetess, do you have the testimony of Jesus? You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. You know, it is very, very unfortunate and very, very sad that um, Simon the Sorcerer and um, the Witches of Endor, <laughs> the Wizards of Endor, Wizards and Witches of Endor have encroached the church space. It is very, very sad that you have Elimas that was not even qualified to be in the church who actually was very bold enough to withstand to fight against the gospel. But today they have twisted it and they are kind of trying to make themselves look like they are agents of God, whereas they are serving different purposes in the church. They are good in twisting the scriptures. I'd like you to, you know, follow and see what this woman, the scripture that this woman twisted in order to get money from these people. Now, at the end of it, the target is your pocket. At the end of it, you know, what they want from you is not is not the good about you. It's just your your money and in in some in, in some cases, even your life. 
Um, it is unfortunate, but even though that it is becoming a war, a battle sort of, yet we will not keep quiet. As much as the Lord gives us life, we will go on and we'll keep talking. See what happened. They said to the people, is it not a good time to build houses? This city is like an iron pot. Tell your neighbor an iron pot. So an iron pot. That is doing what? We are we are safe inside it, like meat in a pot. Look at this. The prominent people they are telling people that the city is like an iron pot, and inside of it, we are like the meat. Hey, about to Rukisha 20 verse 12. Prophets who practice shadows instead of substance. The shadow of oil, shadow of water, shadow of salt, things that were done in Judaism are prophets without the testimony of Jesus. They are the prophets of Baal. Please, don't sit under them. They are not spokesmen and women of God. They are spokesmen and women of other gods. In another word, they are not spokesmen and women of God. They are spokesmen and women of gods. You see the difference? They are not spokesmen and women of God. They are spokesmen and women of God. Because spokesmen and women of God, they carry the testimony of Jesus Christ. When they read the Bible, Jesus in them testified to them what he stirred the, person, the people that he stirred to write the Bible, the meanings of what they wrote. He opened their understanding to comprehend the scriptures. And if you have the testimony of Jesus, he will open your understanding to comprehend the scriptures. Sita kuitisha 20,000 yenye ilitolewa. Ama 50,000 yenye ilitolewa. Lakini nataka watu wako serious. Mutu anasema prophetess, I am tired. I am tired of this. I am tired of this witchcraft. I am tired of these sicknesses in our home. I am tired of this and this and this. And you can put a sacrifice of 7,000 in your envelope. Kama huna cash, you can put it on the phone number that is there. You are saying, prophetess, me, I feel that I need to give up painful sacrifice. Painful sacrifice of number seven. Number seven means rest. I want you to enter rest from tonight. Um, you know, I, I told you that somehow it will, the target is your pocket. And to be sincere with you, there is no such thing as entering into rest with 7,000. You know, um, yesterday I uploaded a video of uh, Passion Java's wife. And she was also talking about the sacrifice that brings you pain. Giving that brings you pain. And you remember the young lady that she was manipulating who already had given $888 to the husband the previous week. Because the husband, Passion Java, asked her to bring such because she was going to be given a husband. And now the same thing has happened and the wife came and now was going to take 1500 from the woman. But then it must be drummed into your ear that sacrifice that will work for you is that that will give you pain. Now, you know, uh, as, as human that you are very limited in understanding and because you have chosen not to listen to the voice of truth, you've chosen not to hear the voice of reasoning and so you are most complacent and you are you are aiding and abating this rubbish that is going on taking place in the church and so when you hear us talk because you 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 know all all along the line you think or you've been thinking that they've been telling you the truth but then you have stayed 
under such promises for a year, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It might not even be under one agent of the devil who is parading himself or herself as an agent of God, but then under numerous persons that are on the same WhatsApp group. Now, because they invite themselves, they walk amongst themselves. So you can feel free to move from Jeremiah Omoto for Fair Church to Suleiman's church, to Igenla's church, to Lucy Natasha's church, to, you know, these prophetess here, you, you can feel okay to move from Bushiri's church to Alf Lukau's church to Ebert Angel's church. You know, just like that, you because they are giving you the same narrative. And so when one has said the same thing yesterday and another told you the same thing today and tomorrow you are going to hear same thing, you are being told that, you know, it is well. It is going to be well. That just you just keep sowing. Just keep sowing. Just bribing. Keep bribing God. Have you heard the one that said that if you don't bribe his angels, God will not hear you. The angels, you know, the angels will not work for you. So you've got to bribe his angels. Now, this woman is practicing something that was told to Jeremiah. We're going to read it. She found this in the scripture but not in the context of what she is doing. It will surprise you where she found this. I'm going to explain that. But let us watch and see herself and one other false prophet that is one of the most dangerous in our recent, you know, in our time, in recent years. Please just don't go away. God bless you. You are heaping for yourself judgment, asking them to sow this seed, asking them to raise this altar, asking them to bring this money, to bring this water, to bring this salt, because of certain scriptures that you are reading, which the testimony of Jesus have not testified to you about, because you don't have the testimony of Jesus in your spirit. So he cannot testify to you why he met Elisha to use salt. He cannot testify to you why Jesus himself carried the clay and put in the eyes of someone and said, go and wash in the water. The testimony of Jesus in, is not in you to testify to you the meaning. And you go about practicing verbatim what is written in the Bible. What was done in the days before the cross. Because you don't have the testimony of Jesus. I ask again, prophet, prophetess, in case you are watching me, do you have the testimony of Jesus? Jeremiah aliambua na Mungu, enda uivunje. Acha clip on trends. Then your prayer requests. Okay, command. Are we there? We are about to we are about to break our personal clip on. I am your Jeremiah today. I am your Jeremiah today. Na kuambua aende ivunjie mahali ya mejificha. Aliambua na wende ukusanya watu. Wakati unaivunja na muismash. Ikue vile kama vipande vipande. Hivyo ndivyo na smash. Uovu wa wote ulio kuja katika inchi. Tunapo vunja iyo. We are smashing. And I hope you are writing down. Anything that you want to smash today. And anything that you want to start seeing today. I want you to do it because tutazieka hapa kwa hii nyungu. Hizo vitu unaandika. Tunazieka kwa nyungu ndani. Kwa hivyo lazima uandike kwa karatasi. Usiandike kwa simu. Nataka uandike kwa karatasi. The Bible says. Don't call those appointed by Satan to destroy the ship of Jesus anointed. Don't call them. You are not anointed when your ministry is full of wonders and scandals and you are destroying the lives of people. You are not anointed. You are appointed by Satan to destroy the works of the kingdom. Because the primary purpose of a spiritual authority is to feed God's people, not to fool them or not to feed on them. We have those that are feeding on the sheep. They are not feeding the sheep. They have been appointed by the devil 
to destroy the sheep. They are not anointed of God. They are appointed by the devil. So when they use that scripture, touch no man anointed, they are trying to conceal their identity and make the naive and those who, who are spiritually insane to treat them as servants of God. Sabata. Like a hot dog, a mad dog, Alors, a mad dog of Christ, a mad dog of Christ. <laughs> yes, are you ready? Now, you heard Jeremiah there before this continues to play. You heard him asking people to behave like a mad dog behave like a dog a mad dog now a mad dog in christ i really do not know the place of that statement in the bible now when somebody says you know in most cases they will tell you that whatever they say even if whatever they say that it comes to pass including calling you a dog you know my heart bleeds because i see that congregation i see large crowd of persons that are hungry for power they are hungry for god i want to say i want to believe they came for god because they have been told that that place is an altar where god works through and so they came seeking for god they have alternative of seeking going to a place where pure native doctors are but because another native doctor another wish doctor has presented himself as a servant of god so they jettisoned the idea of going to a native doctor that is very 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 sincere and coming to an insincere native doctor in order to get miracle and so they are being told to behave like dogs what of what significance is that now we, we we will soon see somebody who will come and tell me we don't understand spiritual things because we are carnal you know we will soon be told that those are spiritual spiritual instructions prophetic instructions it hurts me it breaks my heart of the majority of the people there the number of persons there give them through jesus give them introduce the real jesus to them at least you will have those that will give their life to Christ and will begin to live the life of victory that is in Christ Jesus. These things, you know, what they were holding there, I think it was um, coconuts. And sometimes they will tell you to break coconuts. If you want, you know, they say, if you break the head, the, the coconut, your enemy will begin to have headache and they can even cry their head, their head and they die. <laughs> And sometimes you are made to break like seven or ten. And the coconut you broke. And you wouldn't want your any of your, your children to, to, to pick from it. Because it has been termed dangerous and poisonous. Yet your children in the house want to eat coconut. You don't have anyone to give to them. But coconut, very expensive now. Very, very expensive. Which is... And wizards of Endo. God. Only the spiritually insane treats fake preachers as servants of God. They call everybody, both Elijah, to them, both Elijah and the prophets of Baal are all servants of God to such people. Both Elijah and the prophets of Baal, they are all of God. Both Jezebel and Sarah are all of God to them. To them, both Jezebel and Sarah are all daughters of Zion. Both Jezebel and Esther the queen are all children of God. To insane Christians, both Satan and God, both angel Michael, angel Lucifer, they are all of God. To such insane Christians, 
they cannot tell between black and white to them black and white is the same color light and darkness are the same brothers and when you speak based on what the bible is saying you are saying you are attacking men of god you are attacking they don't understand they are insane Yes. 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 Then said to them, Yes. 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 You will get to understand what, I, what I'm trying to pass across here. This woman here doesn't even know where the scripture is. Now that tells you that this is not, it was not part of her. She, she, she just probably stumbled into a key or somebody told her, ah, you don't know how you can make money from these people. Go to Jeremiah chapter 18 and now chapter 19. Jeremiah. And so she she used that, she preached, and of course, it is not about eloquence. It is not about, about speaking well. It is about speaking the truth. It is about speaking things from the spirit of truth. The possessed damsel was saying true, was speaking, you know, what was true, but not with and by the spirit of truth. Jesus was not in her revelation. So these people, they will bring a verse of the Bible, they will pick it. And they will begin to twist it in order to injure and wound the gullible followers, neither followers. She doesn't even know the, the place. And she was quoting another prophet. My God. May God have mercy. We are breaking it through the Bible, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, Jeremiah. In the name of the Father. Son. 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 As we smash this pot, yes. we are smashing every pot. Yes. She presenting you. Yes. She presenting your family. Yes. She presenting your business. Yes. She presenting your marriage. Yes. In the name of the Father. Yes. In the name of the Son. Yes. In the name of the Holy Yes. Yes. Whoever know the death of Satan, God will put a burden on him. Because they, these are depths we need to know. These are the depths of God. Oh, Makili Kabasatalia. Go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Let me show you something. We have listened so much to the wrong gospel that we have lost the revelation of our heritage. How can we have this kind of heritage? And the devil is a thing of concern in our lives. People do 200 pain and fast, 200 day pain and fast job because of Satan. With this kind of heritage? Look at what the Bible says. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. He says, However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. But we speak the wisdom of God in the mystery. We speak the wisdom of the age of God's glory. The wall of God's glory. That's the wisdom we speak from. The wall of God's glory. The wisdom of the Shekinah, the Kabod, and the Dogza. That is what we are speaking. That is what we are called to preach. No evil altar, evil foundation, monitoring spirit, um, 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 raising of altar, um, breaking of curses, a uh, star. star, the star. Your star is missing. Uh, are you nonsense what a, what nonsense a redemption of firstborn a first fruit offering and we are arguing on first fruit offering arguing on redemption of firstborn 
breaking of generational causes nonsense things that should not come out of our mouth why we have the wisdom that is not of this age that was supposed to be unfolding look at look at paul okay i will get to paul shortly look at what he said here he said but we speak the wisdom of god in the mystery the hidden wisdom of god god which the hidden wisdom which god ordained before the ages for our glory ordained is in an eternal past for our glory which none of the rulers of this world knew for had they known they would not have crucified the lord of glory but as it is written i have not seen nor ears heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for those who fear who love him these things this death this heritage that god has prepared for those who love him eyes have not seen ears have not heard heart and you are talking about evil water you see that they call themselves apostles and bishops and archbishops talking about evil water, evil foundation. Look at verse 10. But God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God, the deep things, the deep things, the futures belonging to the glory of God, created in eternal past, the deep things, the shakina, the cabal, the dogs are the, the content of these five di three dimensions of God's glory. The content of the Shekinah, the content of the Kabot and the Doxa, those are the deep things we break by the Spirit of God. When you sit under teachings from this content, your life cannot remain the same. Thank you very much. I'm just going to show you where this concept was taken from. And do not forget that even the, the devil quotes the scripture. So I'm going to show you, first and foremost, I will show you where it was coming from. But let's look at what they did. What they did was that they got this concept from Jeremiah chapter 19. Jeremiah chapter 19. So I, I'll, I'll be reading from uh, the Message Bible, the Message Bible, Jeremiah chapter 19. He says, God said to me, go buy a clay pot, then get a few leaders from the people and a few of the leading priests and go out to the valley of Ben Hinnom, just outside the potchard gate and preach where they are what I tell you, say, listen to God's word. You kings of Judah and people of Jerusalem, this is the message from God of the angel armies, the God of Israel. I'm about to bring doom crashing down on this place. Oh, and will ears ever ring? Doom because they've walked off and left me and make this place strange by worshiping strange gods. Gods never heard of by them, their parents, or the old kings of Judah. Doom because they have massacred innocent people. Doom, because they've built altars to that no God, Baal, and burned their own children alive in the fire as offerings to Baal, an atrocity I never ordered, never so much as hinted at. And so it's payday, and soon God's decree this place will no longer be known as Topheth or Valley of Ben Hinnom, but Massacre Meadows. I'm counseling all the plans Judah and Jerusalem had for this place, and I will have them killed by their enemies. I will stack their dead bodies to be eaten by carrion crows and white dogs. I will turn this city into such a museum of atrocities that anyone coming near will be shocked, speechless by the savage brutality. The people will turn into cannibals, dehumanized by the pressure of the enemy siege. They will eat their own children, yes, they will eat one another, family and friends alike. Say all this and then smash the pot in front of the men who have come with you. Then say, this is what God of the angel army says. I will smash these people and this city like a man who smashes a clay pot into so many pieces. It can never be put together again. They will bury bodies there in Tophet until there is no more room and into a center for worshiping the star gods. The city will be turned by people and kings alike into a center for worshiping the star gods and goddesses, turned into an open grave. The whole city 
an open grave, stinking like a sewer, like Topheth. So, uh, by by the virtue of what I have read to you, you, you understand that that was God's judgment proclaimed against the people. And before God did this, he asked Jeremiah to visit the potter's house in Jeremiah chapter 18 from verse 1. And when he got there, he saw the potter walking, you know, in a wheel and trying to, you know, design a particular vessel the way he wanted. And in the process, the thing broke. He made the mistake. Now he gathered the clay again, remolded it and refashioned it in the way he wills. And the Lord said to Jeremiah that he should tell the children of Israel that as the clay is in the hands of the potter, that so also they are in his hand, which he got, I just asked the, the, the potter could redesign the clay to get the vessel he wanted, so also God himself can, you know, do to the children of Israel. That if you want a nation and of the impending doom and they repent, he will pardon them. But if they fail not to repent, he will definitely visit his judgment upon them. That is what the Lord God said. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Then I will, then I went down, Jeremiah complied, he said, then I went down to the potter's Take note, as it seemed good to him. Now the Bible says, Then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was mad in the hand of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make. Now verse 5 says something, verse 5. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as the potter, as this potter, says the Lord? Look at the clay in his in the potter's hand. Only the spiritually insane treats fake preachers. See that. So are you in my hand, O house of Israel. The instant I speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up to pull down and to destroy to destroy it if that nation against whom i have spoken turns from its evil i will relent of the disaster that i thought to bring upon it and the instant i speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant to plant it if it does evil in my sight so that it does not obey my voice then i will relent concerning the good with which I said I would benefit it. Now, therefore, speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am fashioning a disaster and devising a plan against you. Return now everyone from his evil way and make your ways and your doings good. Now, the people responded and they said, That is hopeless. So we will walk according to our own plans. And we will everyone obey the dictates of his evil heart. Now, God had no choice but to carry out yes. his plan. Yes. And yes. his plan was the judgment that was declared in the symbolism of yes. the plot. I tried to find out if there was actually something like that in Ezekiel where, you know, this exactly was done, but it's, you know, I couldn't find it. It might be there. But I guess that this is a uh, misappropriation of scriptures. But that your eyes might be opened. That your spiritual eyes of your That you might understand that the end time is here. And we are here to give you the truth of the end time. I'd like you to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Please put down your comments in the comment section. 
Let's know what you think of this. Let's know what you think of the whole thing that you saw. It is very, very, very disturbing. And may the good Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Till I come your way again, I remain your brother in the Lord from me to you. Shalom. <laughs>